Girl, one thing about it, that's how I know how to. She all choked, girl. She all choked. Like, next thing you know, he was like, let's go to the back. And I'm like, oh, the back. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Wesley. If you don't know who I am, if you do know me, welcome back, bitch. So in today's video, we are going to do a story time about how I lost my, my, como se dice, B-guard. This is all just a lie. Like, I'm really a virgin. Like, this is all just reviews. Like, I'm really a virgin. Like, actually. Like, I've never had sex. Anyways, but yeah, um, this is just gonna be a story time about how I lost my virginity. I think I was mm, 13, 14, one of the two. I don't remember. Oh, girl, but one one thing I do remember is the details from this night, girl, because this was a good little. This these like couple nights was pretty crazy. Like I was this this was wild. This was really wild. But before we get into this video, make sure you guys like comment and subscribe if you're not subscribed by now why aren't you subscribed like girl just go ahead and press that subscribe button and it's, it literally takes like two three seconds girl two three seconds all you gotta do is just press a little button boom done like but if you want to hear how i lost my virginity and what all happened what all took place just keep on watching so this started, this happened in like, I don't know if it was eighth grade year or ninth grade year, it was one of the two. I was friends with this girl. We're just gonna call her Peaches. We're just gonna call her Peaches. Me and this girl met in church and we've been like best friends ever since. Well, we're not best friends now. We're not, I don't even know what we are now. We barely even talk anymore. But um, ever since we met in church, we became like really, really, really close. And I wasn't just close with her. I was close with her whole family. Like she had a sister, like she had a whole bunch of siblings, but the siblings that I was close with were her brother. Um, damn. We're gonna call him V. We're gonna call him V. I was close with her brother V. I actually had a crush on her brother V. And that was a whole thing in itself started hanging out with her. I would always go over to like her house or whatever. Her brother V would like come and pick me up. We'd go to her house, just chill, you know, doing like middle school type shit, like middle school freshman type shit, you know? Like I was just having a ball. Like I was really just living life. Like I, this, I feel like that time was the most time I was outside. Like I was outside back then more than I'm outside right now at my big age right now. I'm just so confused, but yeah. So um, we would always be at her house doing something and like V started bringing around this boy. And I'm like, okay. So there was this one time, now as a kid, I could not sleep over at people's house. Like that was just something my parents did not allow. And I feel like it was mostly my dad. My dad did not with me sleeping over at people's house. Like he did not trust that at all. My mom didn't either, but she was on the more lenient side. Like if it was people from church, like she was fine with it. But my dad, he didn't care who it was. He was like, no, like absolutely not. So I would either do it like on the weekends when he wasn't there, like when he was traveling to Florida, I would sleep over at um, their house or whatever. And there was just this one weekend where um, it was V's birthday. And he bought his best friend over. And I was just like, oh my gosh, she's lucky fine. Like, who is that? Like, put me on. I'm trying to, you know, like, what's, what's that? Like, what's, what's that? So I see him. I was like, okay, he's cute. But like, I didn't say anything to anyone. I just kept that to myself. I was like, okay, 
Waist, he's cute, he's cute, he's a little something. So, I literally have video recordings of like me and this boy. I'll probably insert them because it's so funny. Bombastic side eye, criminal offensive side eye. Big cooking with the sauce, chef curry with the pot, boy. 360 with the Did you record it? Tell the people hi. Looking so cringy. Oh my gosh. I was so big. <sighs> it was a mess. It was a little party, a little get together for V's birthday. No, V's, it was either V's birthday or like V and Peach's other brother's birthday. One of the two. I think it was V and Peach's other brother's birthday because there was drinks and he was turning 21. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was there. It was his birthday and he was just there. Like V's best friend was there. And I was like, oh my gosh, this boy's cute. So um, I'm sitting on the couch and like, like, mm, what should we name the boy? We're going to name him Baseball. We're going to name him Baseball. So Baseball comes in and... He was like, hi, everybody. And like, me, be me, bitch, I'm on my phone. One thing about it, if a nigga speaks to me, I'm gonna act like I didn't hear him the first time he speaks to me. Like, I feel like that's such a powerful ass move. Like, I'm gonna act like I didn't hear you. So you can repeat yourself. He ain't repeat himself, but like, that's just how I am. So I was just on my phone. I didn't say hi back. I was just like, oh, he's just talking to the in general. Like he, he really ain't trying to see about me. So, he comes in and he like sits on the couch that I'm sitting on. And me, bitch, I'm sitting pretty. I got my, my feet crossed. Like one thing about me, I'm always sitting with my feet crossed. He was like, hi, um, I don't think I've ever seen you before. Uh, who, who are you? Like, who are you here with? And I'm like, oh, I'm uh, Peach's best friend. Like, yeah. And, and he was like, oh, that's what's up. And then he was like, um, he was like, so you know, What's the name? The the boy whose party it was? I was like, yeah, I mean, like, I don't really know him that much, but, like, all the, like that's Peach's brother, so, like, I know of him, but, like, I don't know him, know him, but, like, they just told me to pull up at this party, so I'm just here. And he was like, oh, okay, yeah, 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 that's what's up. And then he goes on his phone, and he has a vape, bitch. He was like, you want to hit it? I was like, no, I don't do that. He was like, oh, all right. So I'm like, okay, bitch. He talking to me. That means he want to smash. Like, you want me real bad. Because why are you talking to me? Like, why are you talking to me? That night goes by. And then, like, we start getting, like, not close. But we start getting, like, comfortable. And we start, like, talking, snapping, whatever. Not snapping, but, like, talking. And then, like, I'm recording on Snapchat. Like, you know, it's a little vibe. Like, it ain't nothing. It, it's just a little light, light. Like, it's a little vibe. A little vibe. So, bitch, he was about to head out. And I was like, okay, well, it was nice meeting you, blah, 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 whatever. He was like, it's nice meeting you, too. And then that was that. So, that night was very chill. It wasn't nothing major. Nothing happened. It was just when we first met each other was that night. Another weekend came around. And I was like, oh, my gosh, I want to stay at Peach's house. Because I was so bored. I, it was literally, I was in my room. I was bored as hell. I was like, I want to go stay the night at Peach's house. So I asked my mom, I was like, can I go stay the night at Peach's and V's house? Because I always had to say V's house because my mama didn't know I was at the time. So I had to say that I was sleeping over at a boy's house because obviously she didn't want me sleeping at a girl's house because she thought I was. So if I was sleeping at a girl's house, she would have thought I was beating it. But girl, little did she know I was going to get in <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just kidding. Mom, oh, she's never watching this, oh my God. But anyways, I told my mom if I could sleep over at Peaches in V's house and she was like, yeah. So I thought, okay, boom, bitch, we in there like the swimmer. <laughs> bitch, what's this? V comes to pick me up. I go over I go over to uh, Peaches and V's house and we just chilling, vibing, ain't nothing major. Then V tells me that baseball is coming over and I'm like, oh, for real? <laughs> Oh, for real? Why you tell me that? I don't, I don't got nothing to do with me. Like, okay, and the fuck? 
So he comes over. I remember what the, oh, bitch, I gotta find the video because I remember what he was wearing. He was wearing black sweatpants and a b light blue hoodie. Girl, when I tell you that man have a pussy throbbing, girl, I'll drop my penny. Well, I did. Anyways, <laughs> baseball comes over and um, he's just like playing. I think he was playing Fortnite in like the living room on the TV. And I was, I think I was snapping Lexi. I, I remember this so vividly. I, no, it was either Lexi or Emma. I don't remember. It was either Lexi or Emma. I think it was Emma. I don't know. I was snapping one of my little friends, my girlfriends. And they were like, who's blah, blah, blah. I, I, it was Emma. It was Emma because I was trying to put Emma on with V because I didn't want V no more. So I was trying to put Emma on with V and I was trying to get baseball. Yeah, it was Emma. <laughs> Emma was like, um, who's that? And I was like, oh, that's baseball. Um, V's best friend, blah, blah, blah. And she was like, oh, okay. Um, so we on baseball. Or I think I was recording on Snapchat. And then I went up to baseball and I was like, baseball, how old are you? How old are you? And then he was like, uh, 19. Bitch, y'all, y'all don't think I'm a victim. <laughs> Y'all are gonna say I'm a victim, but bitch, I knew what I was doing. I knew what I was getting myself into. I didn't give a fuck. I wanted it and I did it, whatever. So don't don't start with that shit. Don't start with that shit. But um, so he was 19. Mind you, I'm I'm in fucking middle school. I'm literally in middle school at this time. So I had to be like 13, 14. Yeah, 13 or 14. So obviously I was a little too young for him, but bitch, one thing about it. What I get what I want, like what what Lotto said. Always get my way. What can I say? I'm hard to deal with. <laughs> Always get my way. What can I say? I'm hard to deal with. So that night goes on. Nothing major was happening. So it gets later on in the night, and I'm like, okay, well I'm staying the night. So like, where am I sleeping? And then I was asking Peaches where I was gonna sleep at, and then she was like, oh well, you could just sleep in um. My mom's room because her mom wasn't there so i was like okay boom i got mom's room and then baseball was like what you mean you got mom's room i got mom's room i'm like oh what you mean you got mom's room i clearly just said i had mom's room what you mean i clearly got mom's room you can go sleep in v's room or on the couch nigga. i get the i get the queen size bed nigga. what you thought this was bitch royalty over here he's like nah i call mom's room blah 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 and i'm like no you don't i call it bitch v peaches already said that i could sleep in there so bitch i'm sleeping in there i'm not sleeping on no couch he was like then i guess we both sleeping in there that's when i should have known that it was a setup i should have known he was trying to get in his panties i, sh I should have known he was trying to get in there like fucking swimwear i should have known I should have known when he said that. He was like, I guess we both sleeping in there. And I was like, shit, I guess we both sleeping in there, nigga. I'm sleeping this way, you sleeping this way. So your head gonna be over here, my head gonna be over here. Ain't nothing, ain't nothing, head, you know? It gets further into the night even more. And I'm like, okay, well, I need to go to bed. Like, I'm low-key tired. So I'm like, I'm gonna go to bed. So I go lay down. And um, I'm just laying there on my phone. And then he comes in and lays down. And then I, we start talking. I was like, um, so how long have you and V been friends? And then he was like, we've been friends for a couple of years since like middle school because they both went to the same school. They both went to Boaz. Bitch, I should have known. I fucking went to different Boaz, but I was like, okay. Period. That's what's up. That's what's up. And then we start talking even more. He's like, um, he was like, what church you go to? I was like, Crossroads Assembly of God. And then he was like, how you like it over there? And I was like, it's, it's cool, it's a vibe. Like, you know, I love me some Jesus, so it's 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 cool, it's a vibe. And then he was like, oh, okay. He was like, all right, I might just have to go there sometime. I was like, yeah, I mean, you can come with um, V and Peaches anytime. Like, we always looking to, you know, bring more people into the church or whatever. And he was like, yeah, I might gotta do that. I think it was crazy that we was talking about Jesus right before he started doing some devilish shit. But girl, to each their own girl. We just kept talking, getting to know each other a little bit. Then I started like fall asleep. So like, I'm starting to go to sleep. He's starting to go to sleep. 
So we end up falling asleep. And he, mind you, he's laying this way and I'm laying this way. So my head's this way, his head's that way. And then I swear, when I tell you, bitch, when I tell you, I felt like someone was grabbing my ass in the middle of the night. Okay, see, me saying this right now sounds like I was a victim. But like, then let's let's fast forward and remind y'all, I knew what the f I was getting myself into. So let's not let's not do that. Let's not do that. I felt I, I you cannot tell me. I felt someone grab it on my ass, and like I just I know I felt it. And then he was wearing he took off his blue hoodie and it was a white undershirt under and took off his uh his black sweatpants and then put on basketball shorts. So like when he was laying down, he was laying like on his back. And like when I woke up to feeling like I felt something grabbing my ass or touching my ass, I looked and it was his knee actually. His knee was like on my ass. And I was like, um, okay, well that's that. I fall back asleep. And then like a couple minutes later, like I feel it again, but like he's moved. And like he's laying flat, but like towards the other way. So like there's no way his knee is touching my ass, but his hands are like right here, close to my ass. So I'm like, nigga, if you want your dick to just say that, cause I'll gladly do it. Like, be so for real. Like I'm. <laughs> what I tell y'all, this man was so fine to me. Like I wanted him bad. I wanted him. Bad. I want him bad. So I'm like, okay. He definitely touching my ass. So you know I gotta I gotta touch him back. So I started touching oh it's getting hot. I'm getting wet. <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe I'm telling this. This is embarrassing. So bitch, I touch on his Girl, I start touching on his his what's the name, girl. I start touching on his little what's the name, girl. His little package, girl. I start touching, girl. I'm like, mm. ooh. I start touching, girl. I'm like, mm. I start touching, girl. <laughs> then I'm like, okay, let me stop because this is like low key weird. Like this is some weird ass. Like this is weird. So I stop and then I like fall asleep. Again, like it took me forever to fall back asleep, but I fall asleep again. And then like, it's like late in the night, but like the sun's starting to rise up a little bit. So I wake up and then I feel like his hand on the back of my thigh. It's kind of like hard for me to like explain how like his hands work, but like, I know you're probably thinking like, bitch, his hands like just so happened to be there. Like it was never like nothing on purpose or malicious, but like, the way his hands were on me wasn't like just from him sleeping. Like he had to physically put his hands on me like that in order for it to be like that. You know, like for your hand to be like on like on my ass, like gripping. Come on now. Like and then another time where it's like underneath like my shorts. Like, that's not just from you sleeping, you know? Yeah. Because I, I was laying on my stomach. As, when I was younger, like, middle school and then, like, freshman, sophomore year, I would always lay on my stomach. I don't know why. It was just something that I would always do. So I was laying on my stomach, and then I felt, like, his hand on the back of my thigh. So I'm like, oh, my gosh. Good morning. I'm, like, looking over at him, and he's still, like, asleep. But I'm like... How is this still asleep? Like, how are you touching me, but you're still asleep? This is why I feel like he was faking. Even to this day, he still denies. And he says that he was asleep that whole entire time. And, like, he doesn't know what I'm talking about. So, at this point, I feel like I victimized him. But, like, oh, girl, I can't post this, girl. This is bad, girl. He does admit to, like, being up for part of it. But, like, in the beginning, he was asleep. But then, like, a little bit in it, he, like, woke up and, like, just let me do my thing, girl. So, I technically didn't victimize him because, like, he, you know, 
wanted it and like initiated it and I just took the bait. <laughs> but yeah, just to clear up a few things. A few things. Anyways, so he's like touching on me. Like his hands are on me, but like he's asleep. So I'm like, oh my gosh, he must he must be faking it. Like he must be wanting me to like go ahead and just, you know, like. So I'm like, okay, bitch, that's my cue. I'm gonna do it. So, bitch, what do I do? I climb on top of him. Oh my god, bitch, I climb on top of him, and I start like kissing on his neck, and he's still asleep at this point. So I'm like kissing on his neck, and then like I like kiss his lips. And he's still asleep, so he didn't kiss me back, no nothing. So like, I'm kissing on his neck, kissing him. And then like, I lift up his shirt, I go down. And you know, I do I do the little thug thizzle, just a little bit. Like I literally take it out. Oh, Wesley, oh my God, girl. These flashbacks are hitting like a mother. Girl, I, take, I whip it out and like, I start, I start doing a little one two, but like, I wasn't doing my full potential. Like I was just doing a little light light cause you know, it was early in the morning like, and he was still asleep. So I was like, mm, I'll do a little light light. So do a little light light for like a good two minutes. When I say a good two minutes, I mean that like a good two minutes. And then I was like, oh my gosh, this is lucky weird. So like, cause he not like, he's really not away. Like he, he, he was like moaning, but not moaning. Like he was like, mind you, I'm thinking he's not awake, but he told me at this point, like towards the end, he was awake. So he was awake the whole time and he was like making like utterances. Like he wasn't full blown moaning, but he was like, mm. ooh, crooked wet, wet thing about you. Yeah, he wasn't like full blown moaning. Like he was just, you know, like when, dudes do a little a little light light you know when they in the moment they do that little light light that little sound you know that little whew. yeah girl that's what he did girl twitching and he was like uh but like not enough to think that he's awake fully and like he's you know involved in it you know i was like okay let me stop so i put it away and then i pretend to go back to sleep and bitch when he like wakes up he goes in the living room and like V and Peaches is out there. So I'm like still in the room and I'm like processing what the fuck just happened. Like I really just gave head for the first time. But like it wasn't, there was no involvement in that, you know? Like it was just kinda, I was just doing it. So I then go in the living room and we have each other on Snapchat by now. So I'm texting him on Snapchat. I'm like, did you like that? And then he's like, what are you talking about? Please, 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 please don't do too much. Please don't do too much with this little clip right here. Like, my job, I was in middle school, so I was delusional. Plus, this is my first time doing anything. I'm going to be delusional. I'm not like this today, girl. One thing about me, girl, I play these because like a toy, girl. Like, you'll never catch me saying all this to a man right now, girl. Boy, I knew it was fire. Come on now. Like, yeah, not too much. I mean, middle school teens, we all know how we was. Give me a little grace. And I'm like, <laughs> stop fucking playing with me. Like, stop playing stupid, boy. You know, like, I'm thinking, you know, DL Trey, so like he finna give, he finna give Trey, he finna act like he ain't know like what's going on, like we ain't do nothing. So I'm like I'm texting him, and he's like, I really don't know what you're talking about. I was like, I, I literally like we literally did stuff last night. What are you talking about? And then he's like, he starts getting defensive, and he's like, like through text, we're sitting across the f room from each other on the couch, not saying nothing, but through text, he starts getting defensive. That's how you know it's giving trade. Cause if you was really, if I was really doing something that you didn't want me doing and like I really played with you, wouldn't you like bring it up in the public and like, you know, attack me? But like, no, you was keeping that through us cause you knew what the f was going on. Like you knew that's what you wanted and that's what you wanted this whole entire time. Like, just keep it a bug. Like we're texting back and forth, like arguing low key and like, this argument lasted for like five minutes. 
And he's like, bro, I like, I swear to God, like, I don't know what you're talking about. Like, that's some, that I'm not with all that gay shit, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, okay, like, whatever. Bitch, I start catching feelings. I'm like, damn, this nigga really gonna act like I didn't just give him head the first time I've ever gave head and like, he's gonna act like I didn't do it. And like, he doesn't know what I'm talking about. Cause now, now you're playing with me. Now, now, now you're playing with me. Like, so yeah, that was that. And then he like leaves that day and like, I'm really mad at him. I left him all open. I was like, damn, like this man is really like acting like we didn't just do something last night. And like, that was, that was really below in me. Like that was really pissing me off. Oh my gosh, that pissed me off. Fast forward a couple days later, um, I go over to Peach's house again and he's there. So we see each other, whatever. I'm still mad. I act like I don't know him. I don't speak to him because like I'm still mad about the situation. Like you tried to play me and act like we didn't just do what we just did, but whatever. So I'm mad. I don't speak to him. The day goes by and he's still there. And then like, we don't talk at all throughout that day. But then later that night, people start coming over and it's like a little get together. It's not really a party, but it's like a little get together. And I'm sorry, I'm drinking, bitch. I took like two shots, mind y'all. This was like when I first started drinking. So like I took like two, three shots and I was acting a damn fool, bitch. Now, now it takes me like six, seven, eight, nine, ten shots. And I start, you know, getting there. He starts talking to me and he's like, hey, what's up? And I'm like, hi, hi. I'm still acting like I'm mad, you know, playing hard to get. Oh my God. I mean, he was like, why are you gonna talk to me all day? I'm like, I mean, I didn't know if I should talk to you because I mean, the last time we talked, it was, we just argued and you was like saying that I didn't like do blah, blah, blah. And it was just, it was just a lot the last time we talked. And then he was like, yeah, but like, it's still cool. Like, we still cool. You could talk to me, blah, 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 whatever. And I'm like, okay. Like, still playing hard to get, bitch. Ignoring him, like, no, no, okay. So then he goes to V and they start taking shots with each other. And then V calls me over. And V's like, what's it, come take a shot? So I'm like, okay, bitch, here I come. So I go there and I, he's like, here. He passes me the shot and like, it's in this little shot glass. And then baseball takes the shot glass from me. And then he was like, he was like, you you drink? And I was like, yeah. And then he was like, nah, you too young to be drinking. And I'm like, nigga, I'm grown as fuck. I've been grown since I came out the motherfucking womb. Don't play with me. Give me that shot bag. Bitch, I took the shot bag and I'm like, okay, bitch, let's take the shot. And he's like, nah, you too young to take a shot, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, boy I, I let me take the shot like i'm trying to do whatever i want to do like mind your business like you are not my nigga. mind your business let me take the shot so bitch i i still have the shot in my hand and then v's like nah he's good he's good just let him take the shot just let him take the shot and then baseball's like man whatever so we take the shot and then a little twerk song comes on so Peaches is in the living room. She's like, Wesley, come up here, come dance with me, blah, blah, blah. So I'm like, okay, girl, y'all come, bitch. Yo, we outside. In the cut with my twin, we be vibing. Bitch, the song is playing. Bitch, I start throwing it back. Bitch, one thing about it, I ain't always had the shape that I have now. Like, I always had a little, a little something back there. But, like, mind y'all, I was big, so, like, it was, it was big. It was just big all over. <laughs> I was just big all over. So, bitch, I was still throwing that hoe though. Like, bitch, bow, 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 bitch. I was throwing that hoe. I started twerking or whatever. And like, I'm peeping him looking at me from the kitchen, like where we left off from taking shots at. I'm peeping him looking at me while I'm throwing it back. And I'm just like, okay, stop looking at me. Like, so later on, I'm just sitting on the couch and he comes over and he sits down and then he was like, where'd you learn how to do all that? And I was like, what are you talking about? Like, cause I was, I, I was genuinely so confused. I was like, what the f are you talking about? Like, 
get out of my face. Like, I'm lucky still mad at him from last situation. I'm just like, can you get out of my face? Like, what are you talking about? I tell him, I'm like, what are you talking about? And then he was like, what you was just doing earlier? And I was like, what, what was I doing? And like, yeah. <laughs> Time has passed. I don't know. What are you talking about? So he was like, you was, you was twerking, blah, blah, blah. Where'd you learn how to do that? And I was like, oh, bitch. Who don't know how to twerk? Like, who don't know how to throw it back? I was like, I didn't learn how to do it in no way. Like, that's just, I just do it. He was like, nah, that's crazy. You was going crazy. And I was like, oh, oh, for real? I was like, yeah, well, that's just something I do. Like, I didn't learn it anywhere. It's just... It just happens, like, it's just, I think it's the genetics, I don't, I don't know. So, he starts flirting with me, and he's like, I don't never, I don't never see no girls do it like that, you know, all the white bitches at my school, they don't move like that, and I'm like, whatever. We started flirting, like, a lot with each other, and he was like, you might have to, um, like, do that on me sometime, and I'm like, on you? Bitch, I, when I tell you, after he said that, I was like, oh my gosh, are you so for real right now? Like, me? On you? Girl, I was scared. I like, mind you, I'm a fucking virgin. So like, I'm like, on you? Like, that's gonna lead to other stuff. So like, I'm scared. I was like, are you for real? Like, I'm thinking he's a joke. Like, I'm just joking. Like, I think he's just joking. So I'm like, boy, are you for real? And then he was like, I'm dead ass. Like, you got to do that on me sometime. And I'm like, but, like, I feel like, I think I was acting like I knew how to, like, do all that. And, like, <laughs> like, I'd be f***ing when I, when, in fact, I did not. I was never f***ing. Like, I was a whole virgin. So, like, you know me, I started, I was like, oh, yeah, you're like, sh that ain't nothing but a thing. Like. I can do that for you anytime. And he was like, oh, for real? I was like, yeah. And then he's like, all right, let's go. Let's go in the car right now. Bro. In, in the car? Right now? Girl, I was stressed. I was so stressed. Mind you, I did not know. Like, I knew about sex. Like, I knew... The pecker goes into something and like i knew the pecker would have to go into my um my what's it called but like bitch i didn't know about like douching and like all that stuff so i was just like i was like scared trying to put it off i was like mm, i don't know like i don't i don't think we should tonight like what about peaches and v like what if they start to wonder where we're all where we are and like blah 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 and he's like nah it's good i'll just tell him that like you had to go home for something and like i took you home blah 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 and then like you'll come back and i was like i don't know like i'm scared he starts convincing me and i'm like oh, let's just i'm gonna just give you head and that's it and then he was like bruh like it, he was like bruh let, it'll it'll be fine like let's do more and i'm like head and that's it or we're not doing nothing now and then he was like, all right, all right, all right. So I settled for it. He tells V and Peaches that he's taking me back to my house to um get something and then I'll be back. And then I was like, yeah, I'll be back, y'all. See y'all in a little bit, blah, blah, blah. Bitch, we go into his car. We literally go like down the street into like this little wood area. Not woods, but like it's like down the street and then there's like a road, but there's like a cutoff into like a dirt road. And it's like surrounded by trees. And like that's where we parked. Anyway. So we go there. And um yeah, girl, I start doing my little thug fizzle girl. One thing about it, girl, I feel like him, him being who I lost my virginity to was like a blessing in disguise because like he, I'm not gonna lie, he taught me some things, girl. He taught me some things, girl. That's how I know how to... Girl, one thing about it, that's how I know how to... She don't choke, girl. She don't choke. Like, girl. Yeah, girl. 
I started doing my little thug fizzly. Next thing you know, he was like, let's go to the back. And I'm like, oh, the back. Ah, the back. Oh my God, girl. Once you go to the back, girl, ain't no coming back from the back, girl. Like, the back seat, girl. Girl, he's like, let's go back to the back seat. And I was like, okay. Bitch, I was scared, but I was acting so thuggish. Like, I was thugging that shit out, bitch. I was scared deep down inside the whole entire time. But I was just acting like it wasn't nothing but a thing. So we go back there. I do my little thug fizzle. Not gonna lie, it did hurt. Bad as fuck at first. But then once, after a little while, it got a little better. But I told myself I was never again after that, bitch. That was a lie. <laughs> But yeah, girl, that's how I lost my V card in the back of a car to my best friend's brother's best friend. <sighs> yeah, but the crazy thing is, I thought it was just gonna be like we was just gonna f and that was it, girl. No, he was on my body ever since then. I think he fell in love because we did date for like a year and a half. On the deal, of course, like no one knew I was dating him, but all the time I had a man and y'all didn't know. <laughs> That's what I've been telling y'all. Bitch, one thing about me, a lot keeps that under wraps. Like you'll know I have a man, but you won't know who my man is. And I just love it like that. Like, girl, I love living in La Vida Loca. I love living in secrecy. Like, y'all know I got a man, but y'all don't know who my man is. That way I don't look crazy screaming my man, my man, my man, because you don't know who my man is. My man could be cheating, bitch. I don't one thing about it, these is gonna cheat, so I don't, I don't ever know, but he ain't never cheat on me, though. He knew better, because I slashed the f out his tires. Got me fucked up. But yeah, that's how I lost it, girl, in the back of the car. Um, and then we started dating, and we've been smashing ever since, girl. That's the story about how I lost my virginity in middle school to the love of my life. My first love, my first everything. But yeah, that's all for today's video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you leave a thumbs up. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know any other videos y'all want to see from me. Any more story times, vlogs, challenges, blah, 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 whatever. Let me know, girl. Let me know, let me know, let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see y'all in the next video.